Welcome back everyone, hope you're having an awesome day, and today we're going to spread the word of Team Rocket with me and my girl over there, Lyra, uh, because, you know, she looks really cool, I like Team Rocket when you're alone, as you can tell from the shirt and the hat I'm wearing. Uh, we're going to be solving the case, uh, there's an event on to solve the case, uh, apparently, I don't know what we're solving, but we'll do it anyway. If um, part one doesn't take too long, we can get to part two, might make it just a full video, otherwise part two, I'll, you know, link at the end and all that stuff, but we'll see how we go. Mystery game begins. Let's go. Oh. Hey. Synced pairs of Patio. I'm happy to announce that we'll be holding an interactive mystery game. Don't give in. Play a role and solve the mansion's mysteries. <laughs> if you can solve them. <laughs> and that's what's going on. <laughs> Radio then. Even Goose was here, my goodness. I see. So we've been invited as playtesters? Mm -hmm. Precisely. I will have you all like the roles you're given in to play this mystery-solving game. Among the roles you will play, there is a culprit who will cause an incident who is obviously hiding their identity. I reckon it's Lee. I'm just going to call it right now, I reckon it's Lee. You will be asked to figure out who the culprit is and what kind of incident happened. I reckon he spilt milk in his bed when he was having, you know, have warm milk before you go to bed. I reckon he spilt milk in his bed. It's very bad. Wow, that sounds like so much fun! Right. Now then, draw to decide your roles. So Lara just becomes a Team Rocket member? I don't... Is that the whole point? Oh. That's cute. Okay. Like the little. Nice. Oh my! Oh, I remember seeing Steven and Shout and Stoutman somewhere. <laughs> wow! You two get costumes? That's so awesome. <laughs> Does it suit me? Apparently, I'm the detective's assistant. Yes. And I'm obviously the detective because who else would be dress up like this and not be a detective? Fascinating. They're really putting in a lot of effort into this event, preparing costumes and all. I'll do my best to support you as detective's assistant. I'm counting on Great, you. I'll be counting on you. Hey! I'm the musician. Are there no costumes for us? Apologies. We don't have all the costumes yet as we're still in the testing phase. Oh. Aww, I would have liked to wear the artist costume. <sighs> I can't believe I don't get to be the detective. It would have been perfect for me. Child. Uh, but the main idea of the game is that you can still make deductions even if you're not the detective, right? <laughs> Why don't you just guess the culprit before the detective does? Uh -huh. Ooh, played on challenge mode, I like it. I suppose you're right, then I'll stick with my role as the gardener. Hey. By the way, what's your role, Agatha? Hmm. I'm the owner of the mansion. Why, am I a suspect already? Hey. Whoa. Hmm. I'm the cleaner? There's no need for cleaning if you just smash everything to bits. Hey. I'm the sculptor. Don't you go breaking any of my art now, dear. Hey. Does everyone know what role they'll be playing? Right. Of course Guzma gets cleaner. That's actually just... That is so typical. Now, before we begin the game, let me go over some simple rules. Each participant has been given a role, and one of these roles is the culprit. Sculpt, what is it? Sculptor, cleaner... Musician, artist. What would you need a musician? I suppose why would you need a sculptor and an artist as well? Alright, I'll, I'll pay that. However, the culprit has also been given an additional role to serve as a decoy. <laughs> the culprit must use their decoy role to avoid suspicion while causing the incident. I see. And everyone else should play their roles and try to guess who the culprit is, right? Mm -hmm. Indeed, to discover this culprit, it's important to figure out what happened in this mansion. Piecing together what occur occurred is crucial to solving the mystery. Hey, Surviving, oh my goodness. So, I have a question. <laughs> Can you get help from your partner Pokemon during the game? <laughs> That's fine, the point of this game is to enjoy it as a sync pair. Right. Do you understand the rules? If so, let the games begin. Is that a shiny Stoutland? I see. It seems everyone is acting out their roles. Hmm. Now, as a detective, this says I should go around the mansion and observe the other participants. <laughs> to the culprit, I'm just an annoying snoop. That's one way to put it, Steven. I don't want to give him so, you know, I don't mind Steven, he's actually not too bad. Challenge Passio's train is steel type. Alright, let's go. 
Yeah, whatever. I never get to. Oh, I got Riley. I got my uh, newly six star EX Riley. I think we uh, throw him in. Why not? Let's do it. Now, of course, we got Blue. Am I really that, you know? Blue's gonna be there. Watch and learn, little one. Let's go to the top. Dynamax, Steel Spark, let's go. Damn. Nice, one damage. Calm down, Gramble. That's pretty cool. There's like a little X, that's kind of cool. I haven't actually used uh, Riley since I 6-starred him, so... I used him before that, and then I 6-starred him, and then I never used him. So, good on me. I suppose he's only level 110, so... It's more leveling him up more than anything. Is what it is, though, eh? Hey. Child. Oh, hello, Mr. Detective. Are you wandering around because you're bored? <laughs> well, this is my job. Agatha, you're the owner of the mansion, right? Hmm. That's right. You should show me some respect. Uh -huh. And I'm the gardener. Excuse me. What were you two doing just now? We were talking about the Pokemon in the garden. He was explaining a few things to me regarding the Pokemon that live in the garden. Well, I have a Bulbasaur living in the garden. Could you clarify what you mean? <laughs> well, this man mansion wasn't originally mine. It was seized from a distinguished family to clear a debt. So hey. the Pokemon in the garden are from that family. I see. Which means you've only recently started living here. Right then. That's right. Hey, Steven! Hey there! I'm here to help you as a detective's assistant. What? Well, you're kind of late. We've already conducted the interview, Shauna. I had a look around the mansion and I memorized the rooms. That's amazing. Could you show me around? Roger. Leave it to me, boss. See you around. Well then, I'll see you two later. Look, it's just like, yes, I would do that if I was a detective. Why is there a big ice block there? <laughs> and here is the art studio. Oh, for sculpting. Okay, never mind. Makes sense. Oh, wow! You're making a sculpture out of ice! <laughs> Fitting for a sculptor, right? Be careful not to slip on the leftover shards. Okay! These combat boots are tied up and ready. Hey. By the way, I heard there's treasure somewhere in this mansion. And I might be interested in that treasure. I see. I see. That's very culprit of you. We're, I just realized we're just playing okay. Among Us Pokemon. Next is the storage room. Ugh, why do I have to be the one cleaning? Hey there. Um... You don't like your roll, Kuzma? Hmm. Well, duh. Also, the cleaner supposedly doesn't like the owner of the mansion. If that's a deal, then I don't need to waste my time acting. I can just keep complaining since it fits the part. I see. You're right, acting might be your calling. Yeah. Got it! I'm busy right now, go away! <laughs> what are you gonna do, Guzma? Punch the detective? I'm sure that's a crime somewhere. Hey there. This place has a beautiful view! Really? Laura, you have um... Julie Puff, but you're not in your outfit. Is the artist duo having a chat? Yeah? Yep! We were just talking about how it would have been great if our roles were swapped. I'm the artist, and I'm the musician. Excuse me. I'm just going around talking to everyone right now. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary? Hmm. Uh, oh yeah! I was supposed to say something specific to anyone who asked a question. Hmm. Are you supposed to tell them that? Huh? What? Is that against the rules? <laughs> no, you're not breaking the rules. But you're, if you're the culprit, what you just said would be extremely disadvantageous of you. Hey there. But I don't say anything now. That's even more suspicious, right? So, in this mansion, there's an old painting of a little girl. And as an artist, I was drawn to that painting, uh, supposedly. Mm -hmm. So that means it's a painting of Agatha, the owner of the mansion? Hmm. Maybe. But didn't they just seize it? What? What? How could it be? Sound catastrophe! Not the mansion's treasure watch. has been stolen! How could you know that? Okay. I still think it was Lee. 
Let's go again. Uh, I don't know why I clicked off the mice. Watch Steel spike through the top. Boom boom. Boom boom croissant. Allow me. Yes, Ray. Good work. Dashing team. We should read what uh Riley does, eh? I used him in the video, and then I I've used him a little bit, but I haven't like focused on what he does. Unless I've used him, I've had him in the team as I've autoed it, so it gets leveled up. The treasure was stolen from the locked treasure vault. The participants shared the information they had and organized their thoughts on the situation. Hmm. Looker and Agatha have been together since the beginning of the game, and so have Lyra and Berg. Since there's only one culprit, those four have alibis. Hey. What? What's an alibi? Really? Lyra, come on. Oh my goodness, that's something a Team Rocket member would say. <laughs> it means you can prove that you weren't at the crime scene when the incident occurred. Got it. Right, so the four of them can vouch for each other. Which means there are two suspects, Guzma and Melanie. Excuse me. There's four of you, including me and Shauna. We met up at one point, but before that, we were working separately. Ooh. Shauna could have had it, like, set it up so that it gets taken. I like it. <laughs> Ooh, that's right. So who's the most suspicious out of the four right now? Are you saying I'm the culprit? I am been in no treasure vault. Hey. I have the keys to some of the rooms so I can clean, but I don't have the cle keys to the treasure vault. Child. Guzma's telling the truth. I have the key. See, here it is. As the owner of the mansion, I have all the keys. And cleft key, obviously. Are those really all of your keys, Agatha? They should be. Why? I see. I see. Hmm. If Agatha had the keys, then no one else could get into the room, right? Yes. I think we need to investigate a bit more. Is Sean the culprit? Clef key? Key? Hmm? Hmm? I still think Lee is a culprit. Never trust a man with glasses. Alrighty. So you have security cameras, right? That's a thing in the Pokemon world. This is the treasure vault. Hmm. We've got to look for a clue. What do you reckon, Southland? Really, oh, don't pick it up with your man. It's got now. It's contaminated. Everything. It's good work, buddy. Looks like you found something. <laughs> Is that for me? Thanks. Thank you. Hmm. A shard of ice. How? It may have confu confused it with a pretty rock. Yes. There are times when Sailor does bring rocks, but <laughs> mistaking ice for a rock. So if there was a shard of ice at the scene of the crime... Ah! I've got it! Melanie, you're the culprit, aren't you? <laughs> what? You're accusing me? Just because there was ice at the scene? Hey. Here's my reasoning. You worked together with Lapras and made a key to the door out of ice. Then you use the ice key to get into the room and steal the treasure. Wouldn't it be better to just, like, use ice beam on the door to make it, like, brittle and then you smack it with a hammer? How would making an ice key work? That doesn't make any sense, Looker. Are you sure you're in a pole? My goodness. Uh, and steal treasure. And then made it look locked by locking the door again. I see. The motive could be that you wanted the treasure for a sculpture. Hey. Hold on a minute, that's all just speculation. But the only ones who can freely manipulate ice are you and Lapras. That's true. But Stop. wait. Melanie isn't the culprit. What? what? As you see, I by see. my towers of deduction, light has been shone on the darkness of this case. The real culprit is... You! Wait, me? I wasn't even there, Steven. You ain't got nothing on me. You can't do this to me. I like this, like, jazzy the music they got. Sun Steel Strike, Steel Spike, let's go to the top. Big Smackers. Delicious. Oh, what was that? 
My, um... I see we've got cooldown. What, what happened there? I don't actually know what I... Actually, maybe it's his, one of his passives. It's like if he's using Dynamax to produce the cooldown. That's pretty cool. Nice. So Galio kind of broken. I'll say about everyone when I've one-shot something. Next area. The real culprit is you! <gasps> Shorter! What? what? Huh? Do you suspect me, Steven? Yes. Yes, I'm sure of it. If you want to prove your innocence, I want you to show us that none of Klefki's keys can open the treasure vault. If you can't do that... Excuse me. What do you mean? Excuse me. Klefki has this mansion's master key. If my deduction is correct, this mansion should have a master key. What? What? How did you guess that? Tell me, Steven. Yes. Of course. To start, the aim of this game isn't just to guess the culprit. We also have to figure out what happened in this mansion, right? Hey. Lyra, you said there's an old painting of a little girl in this mansion, correct? Berg said it must be a painting of Agatha, the owner of this mansion, but... Excuse this me. mansion was seized from the prestigious family, and Agatha has only recently started living here. Maybe she's an estranged daughter. Do you think of that, Stephen? Bet you didn't. So it would be weird to have an old painting of Agatha. Hey. You're saying I'm old? <laughs> then the girl in the painting is... Yes. yes, she's the girl from the prestigious family who used to live in this mansion. What if that girl was looking for a chance to steal the treasure back? Hey. And you're saying that that's Shauna? Yes. Yes, it wouldn't be strange for the culprit, and by culprit, I mean the original owner of this mansion, to, like Agatha, have special items to help them play their role in this game. Excuse me. I suspect Agatha doesn't have the master key to this mansion. Because when she showed me what key she had, Clefkey didn't express any interest in them. Is that like a thing Clefkey does? Like it really likes keys? It's just a baby, got it? The fact that Clefkey has a tendency to like master keys is just further proof. Hey there! But you could just hide the keys and Melanie could be the girl from the painting, right? Oh goodness. Oh, a girl? Wait, what? <laughs> uh... And the painting could have been brought in by Agatha. That's a good point. And there was a shard of ice at the crime scene. Yes. yes, and that was the conclusive proof. What? My Stantling gave the shard of ice to you. Oh, like fetch. That's actually, that's damn. Steven, he's like throwing out some heat, just saying. It knew from the smell that it left on the ice that you dropped it, Shauna. Excuse me. That's the proof that you left the ice there. So Melanie would look suspicious. Hey. The ice shard from where you were talking to me? Precisely. Yes. That's another suspicious thing. Even if you did search the mansion, you're still far too knowledgeable about it. No, she could just have a good memory. Oh, look, I oh, will pay. That's not exactly it. She could just have a good memory. But that is a good point that she knows where all the roots are. So knowledgeable that your role could only be someone who lived here previously. Excuse me. Now, Shauna, hand over Klefki's keys. Go on, Klefki. One of Klefki's keys opens the door to the treasure vault. <laughs> oh man, you got me! It was me! I was the treasure this whole time! Well done! Steven, you're banned from playing these games ever again. Incredible. Amazing, Steven. Everything is as you explained. Shauna was the culprit. She was given a map of the mansion and the master key, along with her outfit. What? Oh man, I couldn't fool Steven. Fascinating. No, you were a very good culprit, Shauna. Well done. You completely fooled me. Some Interpol <laughs> agent just thrown out there. You got me with that cute face of yours. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Whatever, Berg. What's <laughs> <So> sad. <laughs> Hmm. That'll get you, Looker. For throwing shade on everyone. Fascinating. Paint me a picture, Berge. <laughs> Berge, Berg. <gasps> right. Uh, he's not here? Ah. What happened? My partner Pokemon ah. was stolen. <laughs> da, da, da. Yes. The real case wasn't the part of the 
a real case that wasn't part of the game has begun. Damn. If it's not intrigue, it's something else. All right, we're going to do the challenge round. We've got 20 minutes here. All right, we'll do a two-part for this. So we'll do the challenge round. Same as always, I'll beat challenge round part two. What is the extra bonuses, though? I probably should have looked at that before. Extra gems. We've got to beat with uh, one or more sync pairs that are either Hoenn or Kalos. Okay. Normal and steel. Normal, steel, Hoenn, Kalos. Okay, we'll see what we can get done. So this is going to be the team we're going to run. As you see, I've got a six-star EX, uh, Steven and Leaf and Eevee. Uh, lots of extra bonuses there. And then we've got Wickstrom there, you know, for the Kalos bonus, why not? Any other Kalos unit, throw him in there. I just thought, why not? Ne never get to really use him. Uh, no builds on Wickstrom. Uh, I don't really, as I said, I don't really use him that much. One thing I will quickly note is just make sure to keep an eye. Look at these defenses. Make sure when you get hit with the Sync move or an AoE, you're in shield form. You will take a lot of damage, even if you have uh, extra bonuses on that on guard there. Uh, Steven and Metagross, I'm running like a Sync nuke kind of build. Basically a lot of Sync stuff, Recuperation, Haymaker, Tough Sync, all that stuff. Uh, big damage. If it was, if he was a 6-star EX and it was just single target damage, as you see, both uh, Mega Metagross and Metagross, you want to go Iron Head. Iron Head's going to do a lot of damage for you. Get those flinches out as well, which will be nice. Uh, but for me, is you know 6 stars going to hit everyone. Let's uh, build up that sync move. And then we got Eevee and Leaf. Uh, just going to run Evo Boost. Basically like a sync. It's like a sync spam kind of a build for her. Uh, but excellent uh, excellent bonus as well is the damage reduction physical. Right at the start of battle as you come in. And it's just going to help us get all our buffs going in that. Uh, so let's go into it. If you want to run Iron Tail. Sorry. Should have said this before. Uh, I've got an Iron Tail build. I'll leave a picture down below. Lots of Iron Tail. Basically you want Honor Roll and Iron Tail Refresh. Everything else is just extra bonuses after that. Uh, but that'll knock out their defenses, which will be really handy to have. Let's go into it. Let's see who's the best. We are the best. Victory. Shine. Shine. All right. All right. Let's get up. We'll just start, go right into tackling because we don't really need to worry about um move gauge at the moment. Make sure you uh, get your attack bonuses first and only use one of the always the bests down here or best there is. Sorry, because. It actually gives you, A, it gives you critical hit, guaranteed crit hit next. But also, uh, it will give you enduring a bit later. And we've got a refresh, which is nice. We're going to start with a uh, Evo boost, just to get uh, all of our stats up a little bit. And we'll just keep iron heading until we need to kind of worry about it. We're going to save the best there is anyway. Medium mash. Uh, what's the iron tail? See if we can knock out some uh, stuff. We actually got a flinch. That was not too bad. We'll probably let, use our let's go after this. All right, after this move, we're going to have to King Shield so that we go into defense mode. Remember, we had very low uh, very low defenses there. Maybe I can get this out now. Not before there, one at least. Now we're going to sync move after best there is to get that crit hit on our sync move. We're going to hit everyone with uh, double buff at the very least. That was big damage, my goodness. And we've got recuperation. It's going to heal us up a bit. Ooh. Damn, buddy. Damn. All right, we got Giga Impact coming in. Let's use Potion again. We'll actually release this. We don't need uh, that anymore. Iron Head yet again. Let's go. Uh, let's uh, let's go, and we'll use Iron Head. Let's go. Iron Head. If we're lucky. Look, if we get a flinch, I would love it. Nice. Good work. Wickstrom, look, Wickstrom is actually kind of useful. All right, we're going to sync. We're going to sync move our, uh, with our Eevee here. Get those extra bonuses. Eevee doesn't have any stats, so uh, the Evo boost is going to give her a lot of uh, defenses as well. And if we keep, we actually keep him under wraps with that flinch, we'll be okay, I think. We'll potion up just to make sure we stay alive. Potion refresh is kind of OP. We got double potion refresh again, I'm pretty sure. Oh my lordy. Ah, uh, we'll just bullet punch. I'm gonna potion Wickstrom, and we're gonna use our, uh, Steven's hit. Let's go. That should be it, though, really. Ooh, still alive somehow. Bullet punch. Just tackle. Well. 
Yeah. Uh, look, we beat it. That's amazing. Wow. I think we still get the diamond, right? One or it's one or fewer. I'm pretty sure it was one or fewer. Make sure we hit finish, not battle again. My goodness. We'll have a look. If it's not, then I'll uh, re-record it. But I think we're all good. Look at that. Illuminate the darkness. Easy. Easy. What were you worried about? I don't know what's up. Um, and that's that's all the bonuses as well. Yeah, because Holden and Kalos. Excellent. There we go. All right, let's uh, go get some summons going, shall we? Alright, we've got our triple bonuses here, so let's use our three gems and see if we get anything good. There are a couple of cool units in here. Um, I think it was Zinnia and Thievul. Uh, if I don't get if I don't get Lara and Fanfy, I want Zinnia and Weevil, at the very least. Right, that's fine. Did I say Weevil? We yeah, Thievul. I know what I meant to say. I think for some reason I was thinking Sneasel. I don't know where I even got that from, but whatever, I'll take it. Yep, Roxy, yep, alright, cool, yep. Last one, let's go. And if not, we'll throw a thousand in the uh in the other. That's one. Oh Blaine, that's not too bad. It is actually pretty bad because it's only four star. Right here. We'll throw a thousand in here, and that'll be it for the video. Let's go. Lauren Fanfy, hearken onto me and join the team. See, here's the thing, right? As much as I would love it, the game knows. No, you know, no, the game should know. I'm wearing a rocket hat, a rocket shirt. I better get Lara first shot. Give me Lara, come on. Old Halas. Oh my god, no! Please don't tell me that's my only five star. Our energy can't be contained. Please tell me that's not my five star. Please tell me that's not my five star. Game, don't tell me that's my five star. Give me Lara and Fanfy. Give me Lyra and Fanfy. Give me Lyra and Fanfy. You got like two more choice chances, I think. Lyra and Fanfy. Look, he's not bad, it's just. I don't want him. <laughs> Can I swap in for a Lyra and Fanfy? Is that like a thing that happens? Alright, that's uh, all right, that's it. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. I'm going to go have some dinner and then I might uh, might get the second recording out for the other one. It'll be very dark, very ominous, of course. And I'll see if we can help Philosopod and bring him back. Catch you in.